Jane Wogan and I'm back in the studio with a great show for you today. From the best high street fashion out there to a party makeup look with a beauty powerhouse to a hair, skin and nail special, plus what's hot right now and food and drink and some good chat with the team. Polly Sayer hit the high street earlier this week and tried on a whole host of amazing pieces from our favorite Scandi brands. You won't want to miss her picks. Then makeup artist Kirsty Murphy creates a step-by-step -step super glam makeup look with her favorite Charlotte Tilbury products just in time to start prepping for the party season. It's coming. Beauty journalist Georgia Day is back to chat all things skin, hair and nails, but mostly how to maintain that glow during these colder months. And finally, Heather Steele is here with her roundup of what to eat, read, drink and watch in November. Perfect for those cozy nights in. But first, it's panel chat with the team. Welcome Lou, Sherry and Laura. Guys, lovely to see you all again. So nice to see uh, you. I think we have to get out of the way the, the John Lewis ads that everyone's been talking about this morning what what are your thoughts I feel like it's so like hotly anticipated like I would hate to be the John Lewis team because there's yeah. so much pressure <laughs> on this ad every yeah. single year mm -hmm. it really does like kick start Christmas isn't it? it's like Halloween's over the John Lewis's ad is out therefore let's begin Christmas festivities I was a little bit underwhelmed oh, I, I was me too I thought it was a little bit creepy did you I think did it was you? yeah I did I was watching it thinking oh I don't like this at all I don't know if I yeah. found it creepy I just didn't really find I like I like to sort of feel a bit yeah choked up watching it and I, I think it feels didn't. like the same format that yeah, it's quite we've had like, for the it? last few years like the music is really beautiful I and it's obviously like a, a really nice moral and story mm -hmm. but I just feel like we've kind of seen it. yeah oh I thought it was quite current because of everything that's going on with uh, Jeff Bezos and yeah space travel and I don't know quite got, it got me at the end a little bit Maybe I need Aww. to rewatch. Yeah, mm. like I, was, I thought, young love and yeah, I really um, like the song. Yeah, I love the song. I said I, I didn't the first time, and then when I heard you listening, I was like, yeah. oh. Actually, I think without the, the song, it probably whoever chose that song is really, well really good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas, and Christmas is always so fantastic, but then it's the booking things for for Christmas. So. Laura, what's your go-to Christmas? So I've done the lights a few okay. for a few years running now. I kind of feel like I've ticked that box. Really amazing first time, second time, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Don't need to do it again. Um, and then this morning I had an email about Anya Highmarsh has launched a Christmas grotto. So I literally was like, tap, tap, tap. And I booked it this morning and booked tickets for all of us to go. It's in her village in Pond Street. And yeah, I feel like whatever she does at the moment is... She's I've read rocking. her book and I literally think she's the most amazing woman. So, yeah. Well, I saw the whole uh, village being built and it was amazing. I've never been. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Lou, what about you? What's your go to? I haven't really booked. Oh, I actually haven't booked anything. Um, like, Laura, I've done the lights a few years and like they have been amazing. Um, I don't, my calendar is just really busy with like other stuff. I just can't fit anything Christmassy in at the moment. Mm. I don't know. We're. We're finally going to see Bond next weekend. Um, nice. That's not very festive. No. So, I, no I, I don't know. Sometimes I find like that organized fun. Agreed. A bit hard. Yeah. And it mm. almost puts you off. Like that's yeah. almost why I haven't booked anything because then you've then, got so much pressure. Yeah. But and then it'll be all booked out. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I also think I get a bit overwhelmed with the crowds. Mm -hmm. I would way rather do kind of smaller things. Yeah. Like I'd rather like a Christmas dinner party with yeah. friends rather or like than like... like a mild wine or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly, than going to somewhere with like the rest of the general public. Mm -hmm. Cherie, what about <laughs> you? What, what's your... So I've actually booked uh, Hogwarts in the Snow that at the Harry amazing. Potter studios. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan myself, but I've got two younger nephews who are really obsessed. So I thought being oh like a nice, God. yeah, festive thing. Them? I'm I've taking them. Yeah, I'm so legendary. I'm taking them <laughs> I am a huge Harry Potter fan, and I know someone just went to on Sunday just to the studios. Mm. But to have that in the snow sounds idyllic. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I think it will be decorated like the festive festivities and the is it the great hall you to tell i haven't watched it many times and <laughs> um, but the main hall will be like decorated all like the lights and it'll be really festive so something cute a bit different amazing get you in the mood so i've booked well for the kids hampton court for the ice skating amazing yeah. mm -hmm. uh i'm going early though i'm okay. getting that out of the way november 20th nice. and i can't ice skate but i just thought it'd be quite nice i'm gonna maybe if you're Scots. at hampton court you should go to the mitre is that good? Yeah, awesome. it's literally yeah, nice. just like 
like yeah. just next door, um, really beautiful kind of hotel restaurant on the water. Oh, lovely. And we actually went there last year. It was when lockdown was just lifted and you were allowed to go out, I think, with a few people. And we had a really lovely lunch in the sun there, like by the river. And it's really Yeah, nice. I've been a few times. It's amazing. And like in the evenings, you'll get like blankets. And yeah, it's, and they've it's got fires really and stuff. Vibe. It's nice to sit outside. No, I'm looking forward to it. I am such a Christmas person, so... It's my favorite time of year, and I get so depressed in January when it's yeah. all over. Yeah. Which is when we should be doing more events. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. true. Yeah. Lou, what's your best buy this week? So I last week did a come shopping with me at, at Massimo Duty. So good, mm. so good. Oh my gosh, I enjoyed it so much. Like I love. Oh, I mean, our job is to you know shop the internet basically and Sounds edit horrible. what is and what is out there. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just so nice to go into a physical store and really look at the collection. And for me, Massimo Duty is like one of the best on the high street. Like the quality yeah. is so good. And I picked up this jumper, um, which I literally haven't taken off since then. Um, it's got these cool elbow patches. And it's just like, I think it looks way more expensive than 100%. it is. I, I was quite shocked to see that it was from there. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I think this is kind of, and I'll literally live in this. Like, I love a chunky roll neck this time. Yeah. It's not too, like, tight yeah, or restrictive. Yeah, it's a good shape. It's a really good neck. shape. Um, and, yeah, I don't like it when it goes to a cow neck. So it kind of going to hold its own. And it's like a sort of beigey grey kind of in between the colour so it kind of goes with everything from denim to white to leathers mm -hmm. so yeah, no I love it it's really really it's nice so actually nice. I'm going to leave here and go get it yeah. probably be sold out so, uh, Sheree what about you what's your so, top buy top buy so I'm very much thinking about party season and if there's a sequin trouser anywhere I'll get it but I haven't found a good one this time so I bought this like iridescent top that's completely beaded it's really heavy it, when you hold it it feels like it's very weighty like armor but when mm. you put it on it's fine and it's backless um Ooh, and yes, wow. it's beaded all over yeah it's really cool I feel like with like jeans and trainers dress it down a little bit have you got um, to find the to wear it to Oh, I feel like we've got a few Christmas parties, a few great. dinners, and I feel like when you buy one thing that's really good, yeah. I'll just wear it to everything. Yeah. 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 Um, Having something like that up your sleeve this time of year is so good. Mm -hmm. I also think sequins don't date, so mm -hmm. it's like a yeah. good one that you can bring out. Exactly. I always yeah. have an issue with backless because I can't get anyone in my house to turn my back. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <good point. laughs> just stand next to a wall. Huh, I right? mean, I've literally <laughs> tried <laughs> myself. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, what about you? What's your... So I've actually recently bought this dress from Serafina, which is, I mean, it's cotton, so it could mm -hmm. be quite summery. But I kind of want to embrace, I always wear jeans, always in the winter, and I'm trying to embrace a few more dresses with some long boots. Yeah. It's a little bit more feminine. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lovely, so lovely. lovely. Let's see your boots that you're wearing as well. Are These really aren't nice. quite long enough. These are sort of old bash, but I want to get some yeah. that are yeah. a little bit longer. And there's so many good boots like that out there at the moment. Yeah, I feel like that's like a quest good... For yeah. <laughs> well, I have a question though. What Should we be doing high boots? Knee boots, knee What's boots, knee boots knee. are all back in. Yeah, knee definitely. Mm. What about the heel? So good. I think you can either go for the, like the sort of chunky gum boot, yeah. or go for a uh, heel, like a, like the sort of the Paris Texas, or like the sort of seventies vibe. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it's like actually really the season of the boot. My buy of the week is I got this Anina Bing uh, blazer. Just a week ago. So nice. And I think so far I've worn it about four times. It's always the testament of a good buy when yeah. you, just, you buy it straight away, you wear it, and you don't want to take it off. Mm -hmm. And that I, I've been wearing it so much that I can see my boyfriend sort of looking at me going, That again. Oh, <laughs> they just don't appreciate it. But then I also got, which I have here, um, which is a little more less pricey was this sweater from French Connection. I I think it's it's good for Cozy, jeans, nice. but also uh, I wore it last week with a leather skirt. Yeah. Really which nice. Which dressed it up a bit. Yeah. And I felt comfy. Yes. Yeah, so I love that style, like zip. There's kind of a lot of like big polo knit. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of exaggerated collar, but not like in a pretty feminine way and more of like a yeah, sports yeah. way. Yeah, I love that. I yeah. feel like it, it's elegant and you can dress it up, dress it down. So Lou, we are obsessed with the fact that moving on to another fashion question that you have a friend who has 10 outfits that she wears on rotation for work and um, we need to know how the hell she does that yeah. mm -hmm. and like I'm sure I'm having a really hard time wondering how to dress for winter so how does she do it how do you dress for winter we were just having this chat and, and she was like yeah you know I've got these like 10 looks that like are my go-tos and then I just need a few bits around that and I was like that is just 
so good yeah. to have 10 looks you basically wear on rotation that you get up in the morning and you know exactly what you're going for how handy like especially i think in the yeah. now we've got okay. so she's going with a full look this is where i mm -hmm. can she mix and match yeah yeah a she bit? can mi mix okay, and match fine. around yeah but i think there's basically 10 looks that then can be done like on rotation you can kind of pull them apart so there's probably way more than 10 yeah great um but i just think that is so handy like everyone mm -hmm. i feel like is tight, quite time poor at the moment yeah so I think having that is great so I've, i'd love to i always say uh to my daughter but i don't take my my own advice is pick your outfit the night before because yeah. yeah but I never do and then no, I'm so same. rushed <laughs> yeah I think in my I head I kind of will sometimes have like a rough idea yeah of what it might be I mean it often I changes, normally have but... a product rather yeah. than an outfit yes, like, I'll be like that, I will, actually I want to wear that one thing and then I try yeah, and build it around try it. make it work um, mm -hmm. what's, so that... what's your if you were picking like five um things you should have in your closet right now for winter what would they be well, I think it kind of is like the wardrobe NYC concept where it was kind of like, you know, buy a capsule, which I would say for like this time of year, having a, a good kind of wool blazer, kind of like something that mm -hmm. you're wearing now, a good chunky roll neck, I think a pretty dress that you can then kind of like what you're mm -hmm. wearing now, dress up, dress down, a good pair of boots, I'm, I'm struggling with five, then a good pair of leathers, a nice pair of tailored uh, wool pants I think is also really yeah, helpful really nice. um, like a chunky knit and a fine knit I think yeah Sherry what are your uh, if you were to pick like your perfect winter outfit what would it be like what do you feel most comfortable in so I'm not a fan of like chunky knits I just don't think they suit me so slightly controversial but I always wear a t-shirt it could be two degrees outside and I'd love a t-shirt yeah, like you a, do <laughs> not feel the cold no oh. I don't it's like a black t-shirt I love a flare yeah um, also a blazer and just like a really nice long dress. I feel like a maxi dress. Sometimes what you're wearing, Laura, but I, I, that's so pretty, but I feel like it wouldn't suit me. It's a bit too feminine yeah. for me. Like so you maybe. You're really great in a knitted dress. Oh, yes, I do love yeah. a knitted dress. Yeah, you're like right. Like a fitted one, or well, I guess you I think more of a loose one. Yeah, I think more loose. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Although I read today on the SL site, you should wear it with a belt. Yeah. But, um, but I think just, just loose and a bit more, a bit more cash. Um, and where, if you were shopping online, where is your. Uh, shop for winter winter all Sounds. mango has to be mango it's so good right it's now. so good yeah just like their knitwear everything looks so good i feel like it fits really well mm -hmm. for my shape um so yeah mango's definitely a go-to guys that was lovely thank you great to see everyone next up we have polly with her favorite looks from cause stories and arquette coming up right now Hello guys, I'm Polly, Sheerlux's junior fashion editor, and I am with you today to share some of my top picks from And Other Stories, Cos and Arquette. It's no secret that we love these three brands at Sheerlux, and as ever, they are really delivering on a variety of categories. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so my first choice today is, we're gonna start with Another Stories, um, and I've gone for this gorgeous pink cardigan. This isn't particularly new, I think they had this in last year, but, I've really had my eye on it ever since I saw it. It's just such a good thickness, a really lovely color. I love that it's got a nice round neckline so you can wear it kind of done up on it. So maybe with a little t-shirt underneath or wear it um, unbuttoned, maybe over a midi dress or something like that. I would personally wear this with a pair of leather trousers like this for a really nice kind of easy casual look. I just think it's super nice. Um, my one piece of advice would be to just size up by one for that nice oversized boxy look. Going in with another knit now, but just something slightly different it is this gorgeous little ruffled number so below this kind of yoke collar detail it is knitted um, but this is all poplin and I just love that ruffle that kind of got a little bit of ruffle on the cuffs as well which is super sweet just if you want a slightly different take on a jumper this just adds a bit of interest because you've got so much going on here you, you could just keep it really simple on the bottom with a pair of jeans and some boots and this is really really sweet Next up is a piece I'm quite excited about. It's a lovely quilted coat. I think, to be honest, quilting is like the trend of this season, isn't it? Whether it's that kind of cropped Frankie Shop style jacket or a longer version like this. Um, this one is a really nice one, I think, for cozy sort of autumn walk vibes. Um, because it's quilted, it just looks slightly more interesting than your average black coat. It's kind of nice and warm great for dog warts, great for dressing up with a pair of leather trousers and a jumper. Um, it's just a very easy go-to coat for this season and I love it. And next we have the first of a couple of really great tops. 
This one is a kind of lacy vibe. It's got a little slip underneath, so don't worry about flushing anything that you're wearing underneath it. Um, but a nice one, I think, you, again, you could wear this in the daytime with a pair of jeans, but because it's slightly see-through, um, it's kind of a little bit sexy, isn't it? So you could dress it up for the evening as well. I'd add a red lip, maybe a jazzy earring, and I just think that will look really, really nice. And next we have another great bit of knitwear. It is this kind of cable knit vibe, as you can tell. I'm quite into a cream cable knit at the moment, but what I love about this is the V-neck and the collar detail. Again, so nice to go for a piece of knitwear that's just got something different about it, because if you're anything like me, you can really get into a rut of just wearing the same old knitwear, trousers over and over again. And because it's got this detail, it will just shake things up and keep it interesting. Um, this one I just think is so, so nice. This size is small. Um, it comes up pretty oversized, I would say, but you could size up again if you want it to be nice and relaxed. Injecting a bit of print now. I really think florals aren't just for the warmer months. This one, because it's a little bit darker, a little bit more autumnal, it's perfect for this season. And, you know, again, if you want to just bring some life into your autumn winter wardrobe, this is a great way to do it. Um, I just love that ruffle detailing going on here. Got a little bit of fluting on the sleeve as well. I mean, not much to say other than this is just such a pretty top. Again, I would wear this with leather trousers if you want a slight edge to it, or just keep it simple with some jeans. Okay, that story's done. We're going to go into Arquette now. This piece, I think, is going to be so handy to have on hand for the next few months. Um, they were around a lot last year, but they're back for another season. It is a knitted vest, tabard, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is really reminiscent of a totem one that I bought last year, but I almost like this a little bit more just because of that cable knit detailing going on. Again, I just think it makes things look quite interesting. Um, if you want to transition your sort of summer dresses into the new season then this is a really great way to do that because you can just throw it over the top you're still going to see a nice sleeve you're still going to see the bottom of the dress um, you don't have to worry about you know tucking a jumper in or a cardigan it's just going to sit really nicely give you a bit of warmth and also add interest to your look um, you can also just wear it over a long sleeve top or over another jumper for a nice layered look with some trousers it's just a really handy piece to add some interest into your autumn winter wardrobe okay stay with me here fleeces are well and truly back so Certainly when they're this cool, you can 100% make them work. I just love this. I mean, it's about as cool as a fleece can get, I think. The beauty of a fleece like this is that you can layer it up. So obviously right now, while it's still relatively mild, it's an easy one to just throw on with a sweatshirt, with a pair of jeans on the weekend, just to add a bit of texture to your look. But once it gets colder, you can layer it under another big coat for extra warmth. And again, it's just gonna add some interest to your outfit because you can see those layers going on. Um, I love that this is quite long line and oversized. It just keeps things looking a bit cooler than your average fleece, which has a reputation for being you know, not super cool, but this I think is amazing. Next up, we have a pair of boots, which I absolutely love. I spotted these on the site recently and I just fell in love with the heel height in particular. I think a heel height like this is obviously, you know, nice and practical for everyday wear. Still gonna add a bit of polish to your look, make you feel like you've made a bit of an effort, quite elevated, but you know, still kind of practical enough for walking around. These are obviously great with a variety of outfits. I would wear these with a nice floral midi dress, even with a pair of leggings tucked in with a nice boxy blazer. Just again, such a nice way to add a bit of polish to your autumn winter wardrobe, and I'm sure you'll get plenty of wear out of these. Time to go back to a little bit of color now. We've got these gorgeous pink tailored trousers. I absolutely love these. I think these are just a really nice alternative to jeans, to dresses, to leather trousers. If you just want to incorporate a little bit of color into your wardrobe, wear them with trainers, add a nice oversized chunky knit. And it's just a really easy, but polished, elegant look. Um, I just really like the front pleat. They look really premium. You could go for a matching blazer. I know Arquette also have this, but I do quite like them as a separate as well. I just think you're going to get plenty of wear out of these. You could even add a pair of heels as well and add a nice jazzy top and that make a nice evening trouser as well. In keeping with the fleece theme now, we have a gorgeous fleecy sweatshirt. I just kind of fell in love with this when I saw it on the website because I was just like, my God, that looks like it'll be super, super cozy. I mean, not loads to say on it styling wise because it is what it is. It's a fleecy sweatshirt. I wear this at home could chuck it on with a pair of leathers and make it a little bit cooler, but it's just one of those ones where you know you're gonna live in it. Um, it's just slightly different to a usual sweatshirt. I mean, beyond cozy, you can feel the fleece on the inside. If you're looking for something to level up your loungewear, then 
can do much better than this. Onto my final piece from Arquette, it is a black wool coat. And while this might not, you know, set your world on fire just because it is what it is, it's a black coat, but I think it's quite hard to come by ones that are this good. It's got a nice belt going on so you can cinch in the waist. It feels really premium. It's heavy enough without being too weighty and it's nice and long and quite boxy. I just think every girl needs a good black coat in her wardrobe and if you're still on the hunt for the perfect one then this is a really great option. And then to finish up, we've got a couple of bits from COS. Um, the first thing I picked with these leather trousers, um, I've mentioned them a few times in the past few minutes, but a leather trouser really is such a staple for your autumn winter wardrobe. And these are just such a lovely shape. They're a really true straight, like kind of a little bit wider than a lot of them on the market at the moment. So if you want a pair that's not gonna like cling to your legs too much, then this is a really nice pair. They're kind of elasticated as well at the back, which I think is a real plus especially you know sometimes leathers can be a little bit restrictive especially after you've had lunch and things like that but these are just going to be a nice comfy pair they're also real leather as well and they feel so buttery soft um, just again such a useful piece to have on to dress up dress down um, if you're looking to invest in a pair of real leather ones then these are a really nice option too and finally, we have a gorgeous blue knit, um, which I just think is so beautiful. This color is absolutely gorgeous. I really love this kind of very pale blue shade, especially paired with leather. Um, again, it's just so soft. I mean, I think maybe if you're kind of sensitive to wool, then this might be a little itchy for you, but it is just so gorgeous. Quite boxy, quite oversized, a really easy one to just chuck on at home, but also chuck on for heading out with a nice black coat. Um, it's just a nice way to incorporate a bit of color again into your autumn winter wardrobe. And I'm a big fan of this one. And that is everything for today. I really hope you enjoyed these pieces. As always, we put the links and the sizes to everything featured today in the show notes below. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Welcome back. Thank you, Polly. I loved that baby blue jumper, it's so pretty. Now I feel that every weekend at the moment there's a celebration of some sorts, from belated birthdays to any excuse for a get together in our post-lockdown world. So to help you feel party ready, we turn to Charlotte Tilbury, pro makeup artist Kirsty Murphy. She's here with her tips for creating a super glam party look. Hi Sheer Looks, my name's Kirsty and I'm a pro artist at Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to be showing you how to create the perfect party festive look using all my favourite Charlotte Tilbury products. First I'm going to be using my magic serum kit that's going to instantly give me that amazing brighter, smoother looking skin and I'm also going to follow on by using my magic lip oil which is this amazing product here to really lock hydration into my lips. So I'm just going to pop a few little drops um, on the, my hands and rub together and just start by placing it on the skin and really warming it into the skin. I'm using the magic lip oil to really lock in and hydrate my lips and this is also Charlotte's secret to fuller plumper lips. Next step to lock in hydration and to really get that perfect canvas, I'm going to use Charlotte's Magic Cream. This is the most iconic product and actually what got the brand started. This moisturizer is a cocktail of vitamins and minerals that instantly transform tired, dull looking skin and it's also the perfect base for makeup. I really want this makeup look to last all night long so I'm gonna prime my skin with the Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. This primer protects, primes and hydrates your skin and it also has an SPF of 50 plus. For special occasions, I always grab my Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is a stay all day, lightweight, full coverage foundation with a demi matte finish. Starting with a pea size amount of product, I'm gonna get my amazing Magic Complexion brush and start from the center of the face working outwards. I'm using the shade Five Cool, which is in the medium range. We do have 44 shades, so you are going to find that perfect shade for your skin tone. Another great top tip with this foundation is you can actually use it as a primer on your eyes. I'm gonna take a little bit of what's left and just blend that all over my eyelid and it really helps make the eyeshadows last all night long. Now I'm gonna go in and apply my concealer just underneath my eyes. I generally go two shades lighter to my foundation to really help brighten my dark circles and also the center of my face. This really helps give that illusion of a more contoured and brighter effect to the skin. 
So now that my complexion is finished, I want to set everything in place with my favorite powder of all time, the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This powder instantly blurs and smooths fine lines and open pores, but you still get this amazing sheen from your skin, so you're not overly mattified. I wanna add in my facial framework by using the amazing Airbrush Bronzer to really highlight and sculpt my cheekbones. So if you are new to bronzing or contouring, Charlotte always says, suck in the cheeks and follow the hollow, and that'll give you that perfect bronze or contoured effect for your face shape. I'm going to move on to brows. And Charlotte always said brows are the pillar of the face. And I'm gonna use the brow cheat to fill in my brow for any gaps I might have and to elongate the brow slightly as well. Then I'm going to do lifelike hair strokes underneath the brow where I need most of my work. I always say as well, you know, blending your brow hairs are just as important as blending your eyeshadow. Between, you know, a few individual hair strokes, just take the end of your spoolie and brush up to really make sure that everything is blended really well together. So next step is always to feather the brows in place and that's with the Legendary Brow Gel and I'm using shade dark brown in this shade. So this is really gonna grab onto any of those little blondes that I have in my brow hair, add texture and really give that definition back so they look as natural as possible. To make sure my brows stay in place all night long, I'm going to use my Brow Fix Clear Brow Gel for that 24 hour wear, but I honestly find that it's the most beautiful clear brow gel I've used. It doesn't take off any of the excess product. It actually blends everything really, really beautifully. So to really get this party started, I'm gonna move on to eyes. So this is the Celestial Pearl Palette, and I have to say this is one of my favorite um, eyeshadows that Charlotte Tilbury has ever launched for her holiday collection. So to start off our party look, I'm gonna go in with the prime shade, which is this one right here, and I'm gonna sweep that all over my lid. These are the perfect priming shades because it just gives that amazing base for your eyeshadows to sit on. I'm actually gonna jump down to the smoke shade, which is this shade here, a beautiful gold tone, and I'm just gonna frame my eye. So I really want to just press it on the outside of my eye to really elongate and get those amazing feline shaped eyes that Charlotte is so renowned for. Now that I'm finished contouring my eye with the gold smoke shade, I'm going to use the same shade with a more tapered brush, which is called the smudger brush, to marry the top and bottom of my eye together to really get that feline shape that Charlotte loves to create, which is instantly gonna give us that wider, brighter eye effect. So I'm just gonna go back into the enhanced shade, which is the second shade on the palette. And I'm just gonna go backwards and forwards all over to really brighten up the eye and really illuminate the inner eye area. So now that my eyeshadow is on, I really want to add extra length and a little bit of extra definition to my lash line. So I am going to use the Exaggerize Liner Duo, which is this incredible black shade and also a cream metallic shade. So using the outer corner of my eye, and my eyebrow as my guide, I'm going to just draw a little dot to where I want my feline flick to finish. Then I'm just going to start by sketching up towards that dot in really fine motions. This is not going to happen in just one quick and easy motion. It's just building it up to get that perfect shape for you. Once you have the shape, you're gonna bring it back down and fill it in, nearly like it's a little triangle. Turning my pencil on its side, I'm going to try and keep as close to my lash line as I possibly can. So to finish off my eyes, I'm going to use the Pillow Talk Push Up Lash Mascara, which is my favorite mascara, hands down, in the Charlotte Tilbury range. I'm gonna start by loading my product into the roots of my lashes with the incredible paddle brush. Once I've distributed enough into the roots and really lifted the product, then I'm gonna turn it on its side and use those diamond bristles just to really make sure that every single lash is being coated with this incredible formula. I'm going to move on to the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat to really frame and define my lip shape. I'm 
also going to apply the Pillow Talk Original in the Matte Revolution all over the lips. This texture, if you've never tried it before, is so creamy, so buttery. Even though we call it a matte lipstick, it still has these amazing 3D pigments that give fullness and lift to your lip shape. I'm going to use shade Walk of No Shame on my cheeks. So just taking the outside of the circle, I'm just going to apply to the apples of my cheeks, but actually applying a little bit like a high blush is what Charlotte likes to describe it as. So to really make sure my makeup lasts all night, I'm going to finish with my airbrush setting spray, which is a 16 hour wear setting spray with no oil and no alcohol. So amazing for any sensitivity in your skin, but also just great because it doesn't add any extra oil to your skin. Perfect for a night out. Thanks, Kirsty. You looked gorge. Next up, SL Beauty contributor Georgia Day sat down with Holland and Barrett expert Sarah Meadows to chat all things healthy hair, skin, and nails. Take a look. Now, if you're anything like me, the change in seasons has taken a serious toll on your hair and skin. As temperatures drop and the heating switch on, our skin becomes dry and lacklustre, which is why I'm thrilled to be joined by Sarah Meadows, in-house expert at Holland & Barrett, who's here to guide us through which products we should be using to keep our glow throughout the winter months. Sarah, welcome. Thank Hi. you so much for Thank joining you. us. Um, let me just say, first of all, because obviously Holland & Barrett is well known as being the vitamin expert, yes. but am I right in thinking this is the first time that they've launched their own range? We have our own range across a lot of other categories and we have had some beauty from within supplements before in the beauty space but this is the first time we've kind of really gone after more advanced formulations and really expanded our range. You know we saw that kind of customer appetite for skincare through the pandemic really skyrocket and through some of our branded um, products that we had we could see how much the customer wanted these products so we wanted to you know really take our years and years of experience and put that into some formulations that the customer you know was really asking for so yeah we're really excited that we've got a, a holland and barrett offering in this space and i think uh, i think people are looking for sort of solutions that are much more natural at the moment aren't they because it's all very well kind of having amazing makeup and a, and a beautiful makeup collection but actually if your skin isn't right and you don't get your skin sorted then th then that's a big hindrance to how your makeup will look right yeah exactly and i think that's what's really happened over the last year or so is especially where people stopped wearing as much makeup actually taking care of your skin becomes the most important thing and you know skincare is obviously vital to that as well but taking care of your skin from the inside the right diet the right supplements the right nutrients and all of these products can help to support that so it will really yeah get you on your way to having great skin yeah i'm feeling amazing overall right? yeah exactly so Let's get going with the ranges. So first of all, yeah. we've got the Holland & Barrett Expert Timeless, which yes. uh, I believe is this one here. Yeah. So this is part of our new Holland & Barrett Expert part of our range, which is uh, Holland & Barrett Expert is part of the core range, but it's our kind of most advanced, most scientific formulas and quite a lot of them are multi-action as well. So the Timeless product is like your superhero for your skin. It's got in it, um, a version of hyaluronic acid, which we all know is brilliant for your skin, draws water to your skin, so it kind of really helps with that plumping and that firm, firmer yeah. appearance. Then we've put in some vitamin C, some zinc, and some collagen as well. So it really will tackle hydration, it will tackle wrinkles, it will just give you a kind of that glow that you're really looking for. It's, it's probably, it's the most advanced of the three, so it's okay. probably the one to use if you're really perhaps a little bit older, really starting to think about taking care of your skin. It's a little... It's but amazing for winter when everybody's skin is dehydrated and Exactly, dull and, yeah. exactly. This is definitely, this is the one that I take. So. And super yeah. easy to take tablet form. Yeah, tablet yeah. form, you take one a day. So each pack is a month, roughly a month's um, worth of products. There's 30 capsules in each one. Next up, this is the one I'm really excited about. This is the multi-action skin, hair and nails. Yes. Um, all of those three things suffer massively for me when winter hits. Yeah, so everything absolutely. needs some TLC. So tell us a bit about this. Yeah, absolutely. So this product, it's a tablet again. Um, and it's, as I said about H&B Expert, it's multi-action. So like you said, it looks after your skin, hair and your nails. To do that, it's got biotin, selenium, zinc and vitamin C in, all of which maintain kind of great hair, skin and nails. What's brilliant about this is it's also got something, when you use a, a sciencey term, it's got something called skin axe in, which is a multi-nutrient multi um, 
ingredient and that also includes grape seed extract okay. and melon seed extract which is absolutely rammed full of antioxidants so as well as getting the kind of um, plumpness and the hydration that we talked about with the other product you also get a really good dose of radiance so this is just great for absolutely anybody who wants to invest in their skin and get that kind of glow from within. Yeah, and, and obviously amazing for sort of autumn, winter time, but actually pretty great all year round. All year round, yeah, yeah okay. all year round. Okay, I would amazing. take that any time of the year. It's kind of just, it's like adding it into your skincare routine. As yeah. you put on your moisturiser, just take one of those. And I guess, you know, we spend so much money, don't we, on, on makeup and skincare and, and mm. getting our nails done and things like that. And actually, if you're willing to invest in in the sort of treatments and the and the products, this is actually another fantastic investment to just enhance all of that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Next up, we have the liquid collagen. So this contains something called Verisol collagen. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah. So Verisol collagen is um, a clinically studied collagen. So there are a huge amount of collagen supplements and hugely um, a huge variety of collagen kind of peptides out there on the market. What's different about this one is it has been clinically studied with human participants so that we know that it can deliver the results. Collagen is really important for all the structures in your body, skin, hair, bone, muscles. Um, and this is a really, really high dose of collagen. So there's 5,000 milligrams in each sachet, which is fab. But it also includes vitamin C and zinc, okay. both of which are essential to then actually building the collagen structures so yeah. really you know without the vitamin c and zinc it won't do its job properly so it's like a little that, that comes in sachets actually yeah so i mean super easy to just if you're really busy and don't have time to do whatever really easy to add into your yeah. smoothie or whatever in the morning as you're running out the door yeah, yeah exactly really really convenient so great for anyone who's really busy but who really just wants to kind of get a bit of a bit of firmness and a bit of plumpness back into their skin um and it's just like a little a little sachet of collagen superpower. So yeah. and tastes good. Yep, tastes brilliant. Good. Tastes brilliant. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. Um, and so if I'm taking this, how kind of quickly can I expect to see the results then? It, the results will vary person to person. The studies have shown they have shown people seeing results from as early as four weeks, but really kind of four to eight weeks, you would most people would probably see results, and then you should continue to see improvement there on in. But it does it really varies person by person. Okay. Um, and then last up, we have the um, collagen, the effervescent collagen with vitamin yeah. C in it, um, in a kind of tablet form that you just add to water. Yeah. Um, who's this for and how is it different from the sort of collagen, this one we just talked about in the sachet? So this one is a slightly lower, lower strength, lower dosage. This one is a thousand milligrams of collagen and it has the vitamin C in it as well. So it will also enhance um, your radiance and will help with that kind of collagen building. It's, it's great for kind of fitting into your lifestyle, you know, just have it instead of a drink of water. Um, two tablets a day and there's 20 in there. So it's also really, really great value. So a slightly, a slightly lower dosage than this one. So probably good for some who's just starting to take collagen okay. to see to see how they feel it's just a really nice to have a, a different format rather than taking tablets I don't know if you're if you take a lot yeah. of supplements you can be taking a lot of tablets all the time so it's great to have a different format and you can also you could also mix up the kind of products on a different day if you want so you know if you take the sachets out and about with you but have, maybe have the tablet when the effervescent when you're at home if I wanted to take all of these together, is that something I should be doing or is it really more about picking and choosing according to your different concerns? I would probably pick and choose for your for your different concern, yeah, depending on kind of how how much of an advanced strength you want, how um, what type of format you prefer. You know, some people love tablets, some people don't like to take them. It's definitely a personal choice. Um, but yeah, I would probably pick and choose the one that's right for you and the effervescents are probably the one that you can mix and match with mm -hmm. some of the others. Amazing, thank you so much. No problem. Um, that's so interesting, Sarah, thank you. Thank you for joining us and talking us through the products. Um, and it actually makes me feel like that winter glow might be achievable. <laughs> Coming back. Um, so for more information on the vitamins and supplements and getting a glow from the inside out, visit hollandandbarrett.com. Welcome back. For all the products mentioned, please do look at the show notes below. Now, next up, our resident culture vulture, Heather Steele, is back with her picks of what's hot this month. Hello, my name is Heather Steele. I'm managing lifestyle editor at Sherlux, and this is my November hot list. It's that time of year where everyone's thinking about Christmas and Christmas present ideas. And if you've got any friends who are big fans of gin, I've got a really good idea for you, which is this new sea mist from Sulcan Distillery, which is down in Devon. So they've already got loads of really nice gins, including this rose gin here, which comes now 
in a nice gift set with its new product, which is this sea mist. So it's made with alcoholic spirit. It's got grapefruit, it's got coastal botanicals and sea salt. And yeah, it comes in this lovely sort of perfume style atomizer. And the idea is that you make any sort of lovely gin based drink like a gin tea, or there are loads of really nice recipes on the Sulcum website for other sort of cocktails you can make. And then, yeah, the idea is that you just give a nice spray of this at the end of your drink and it gives it a really nice sort of coastal salty sort of ending to the drink. I'm a massive fan of Barber and I've had like my green wax jacket forever and absolutely love it. But what I really like about the brand these days is that they're always doing really cool collaborations. There's been a recent House of Hackney one and they've also done a collaboration with Alexa Chung for quite a few years now. And again, I've got one of their coats that's absolutely lovely. But another one that I've just grabbed is also part of the Alexa Chung collaboration. And it's this wonderful Jackie coat. So it comes in a couple of different colors. This particular one's navy and it's ever so slightly padded, but it's got these lovely tortoiseshell buttons on and a really, really lovely sort of patterned thing on the inside with hidden pockets, which are always really, really useful, whether you're dog walking or just stomping about and need somewhere to put your phone in when you can't be bothered to have a bag with you. And yeah, I absolutely love it. It's ever so slightly waterproof. It's got the sort of telltale cord collar as well. And it's also got a really, really pretty bow on the front that you can tie up. So the book I'm really enjoying at the moment and one that I was waiting quite a while for is O oh William by Elizabeth Strout. Um, if you don't know, Elizabeth Strout's an amazing American writer who's in her mid 60s now and she's been writing these brilliant books about amazing women for decades. And Olive Kitteridge is her best known one. It won the Pulitzer Prize and it also went on to become an HBO drama starring Frances McDormand as the lead role. So if you haven't seen that, that's definitely worth checking out. But you know, back to O. William, it's basically a sort of follow up to one of her other really good books that people in the know really love called My Name is Lucy Barton. It's about a writer who's a journalist and you know, it charts her life back from childhood growing up to an adult woman, her marriage to a man called William. And then this is the sort of follow up um, that's set kind of like switches sort of times. It's sort of in the future, it's sort of in the past, it's in the present, and it's really, really good. So the film I'm most excited about watching this month, and it doesn't come out until the end of the month, so it's a little bit of time to wait, but it's House of Gucci, which is the new Ridley Scott film, so the guy behind Gladiator, um, and it looks amazing. It's got such a good cast. It's got Lady Gaga, who, you know, is obviously going to be brilliant in it. It's got Adam Driver, who's one of my favorite actors right now. It's got Al Pacino. It's got Jared Leto in some absolutely astounding cosmetic gear <laughs> to kind of make himself look completely different. It's got Jeremy Irons in as well and Salma Hayek. So a really, really like A-list cast. And it's basically about the Gucci family and dynasty and about a murder that happens there, about money, fame. It's obviously got loads of catwalk scenes and loads of amazing fashion. It's mostly set in Italy, so it's got these beautiful scenes that you can see in the trailer and yeah I'm very much looking forward to seeing that at the cinema when it comes out later this month. Obviously last year was a year where loads of restaurants had to adapt their business models and work out something new to do when they were all closed in the various lockdowns but one of the things that does seem to be here to stay is all these brilliant meal kits that loads of great restaurants have created since and it's that time of year where a lot of these really good brands are thinking about Christmas and what they're going to be serving and one of them that I can really really recommend and it's one that I'm definitely going to be ordering again for Christmas is part of Dishpatch which is another sort of meal kit platform they have like monthly changing menus from great restaurants but this Christmas Cafe Murano so Angela Hartnett's restaurant has got an Osabuco feast which I tried last weekend and it was absolutely amazing so it's got things like uh, tomato focaccia it's got truffle arancini it's got um, some really lovely antipasti like monkfish carpaccio it's got roasted squash gorgonzola and walnuts and then yeah the osabuco sort of lovely slow cooked meat as a main course uh, which comes with this lovely sort of risotto 
that you cook yourself, but it's basically already been sort of pre-cooked, so it doesn't take long at all. And then the ending, which is this gorgeous pistachio panettone bread and butter pudding, which comes with this gorgeous pistachio custard. That's all for this month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. So that's it for today. Thank you so much to Sarah, Kirsty, Georgia, and of course, Polly, Heather, Laura, Lou, and Cherie. On the next show, we have some more fab content. The inimitable Laura Wills, AKA the Fashion Bug Blog, is here to discuss one of her favorite brands. Stylish influencer Molly Campsey will be showing you how to wear three day to night looks. Plus, it's the next Sherlock's viewer makeover with colorist to the stars, Nicola Cott. Georgie will also be showing the health and wellness product she swears by. You don't want to miss out on that one. In the meantime, we would love it if you would comment below, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. See you soon.